you believe that Adams kidnapper may also have taken Agent Clemens. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Thank you. But I think I have a right to know this is my son we're talking about. Is it? Excuse me? <laughs> we're, we're still pretending? Here? It's just us in here now. Okay, well, if you're accusing me, I am going to need you to say it. If there's something that you're not telling me that could help us find Agent Clements, you are obstructing a federal investigation. So who's living in your house, Claire? Because I know it's not Adam. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's like that carnival game. Oh, Adam used to love it. You know, the one where the little men keep popping up and you have to hit them back down again. Whack-a-mole. And... Whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole. That's it. You are such an amazing woman. You keep bouncing back after so much failure. I, 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 for the life of me, I cannot imagine what gets you out of bed in the morning. You put the wrong man behind bars for a decade. You left a little boy locked in a hellhole. And despite all of your delusional theories, that sick bastard is still running loose out there, doing God knows what to another child, now a federal agent. And somehow, you have convinced yourself that you're not going to screw it up all over again. I guess I have nothing to lose. You have everything to lose. Even if I knew what you were talking about, and for the record, I do not, do you think that the world would let you come after my family now, after you spent your time screwing my husband when our son was taken instead of looking for him? You have very little credibility left, so please go ahead and throw one more delusional theory on the pile, because after I am governor, I will personally make sure that you can save all of the children that you want as a crossing guard. Who knows, maybe we'll finally have success with one.